Hi, this is Piotr Walczyszyn, I'm an Adobe Developer Evangelist and today uh, I wanted to cover some of the new features that come with uh, PhoneGap 2.0 which was released about Friday last week. And so this new release brings some significant uh, new features and changes, especially when you're doing iOS development. And this short video tutorial will cover that, how to set up your development environment. All right, so uh, in order to get started, go ahead and install uh, PhoneGap 2.0. So download it from PhoneGap.com uh, site. Once you download it, um, go ahead, unzip the, the, the downloaded package and go to lib iOS uh, folder where you will find a Cordova DMG uh, package, which you can of course mount. Once you have it mounted, you will see there a Cordova package which you can install. And I know in a pre uh, in the future uh, releases we'll probably get rid of also this uh, Cordova package. Um, all right, so once you go through it, install. I have it installed. Um, you can go back to iOS folder and you will find their bin directory where there is a bunch of um, um, shell scripts which you can use to create new uh, iOS project. So you may ask what happened with the wizard that was in Xcode. All right, so we got rid of it. Uh, it wasn't flexible enough uh, and from now on you will have to use a command line um, to to create new PhoneGap projects. All right, so let's hear how it works. So you can open your terminal in this bin folder or switch, open terminal and switch to the folder uh, to that uh, uh, to that spot and now we can see there is a create uh, um, script and before you run this create script make sure that in Xcode you have common line tools installed and to make how to make sure that you have it go ahead in Xcode go ahead to preferences and in preferences you'll see uh, downloads components and common line tools and it should be installed. If you have that, then you're ready to go. And create script uh, accepts uh, three parameters. So first one is actually a path to your new project. So projects, uh, I created folder PG2, and let's give it iOS uh, name for the new folder for my project. Now, the second one is a, a package name of my, mm, or identifier of my application. So come hello world. And the third one is the, mm, uh, the project name. So hello world. Once we launch this, it creates new uh, iOS phone gap project. So you can see if I go to my PG2, iOS uh, directory, you will see there is a, an Xcode project. So if I launch it now, it will launch and you will be able to use it as you used to do directly from here. You'll be able to launch, debug, or launch on your device and later on, of course, uh, distribute through the Xcode. Just one thing here um, to mention is that you need to switch the scheme to Hello World and there you can select any simulator or device if you have it connected. So let's select iPhone simulator and let's run. And you will see that it will launch iOS simulator. All right, but uh, if you don't like to use Xcode or run Xcode every time you want to launch it on your simulator, you can actually use uh, new command line uh, tools as well to debug or to build debug and deploy uh, to your iOS simulator. So you can see it's running this way, but let's close that. Let's close Xcode and let's go into our iOS um, new, new project uh, directory. And you'll see that there is a Cordova directory, which has uh, debug emulate and log scripts, which you can use for your development. So if I now open my terminal window here, I'll be able to uh, actually launch uh, debug script but before I do that uh, I had to install also additional application called iOS sim so iOS sim is an app that uh, uses the command line uh, tools from Xcode 
actually to launch uh, the iOS sim later. How do I install iOS sim? So iOS sim is available through GitHub. It's under the PhoneGap project. So go ahead there and you will find some installation instructions. Uh, the I think the easiest way, if you ha already have the uh, homebrew installed, is just to use uh, the homebrew uh, package manager and brew install iOS sim. If not, you can actually clone this project and there you can run this rake install prefix, whatever uh, commands here. But I think the easiest thing is just to do a homebrew installation first using this simple script. Once you have that installed, go ahead and launch brew install iOS sim. So once you have all that, you can run debug and you'll see it will spit out a lot of uh, sort of a debug statement. So it's 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 actually a, a progress of the, the build process for the iOS project in Xcode, which I run in this terminal. As you can see, I don't have Xcode running anymore. So once it builds uh, my new uh, project, it starts deploying it directly to my iOS simulator. So you can see it has deployed it uh, to, uh, to the iOS simulator. The cool thing about it is that if you don't want to use Xcode as I do for your uh, development and you want to use better uh, editor for HTML and JavaScript, you can uh, you can actually directly from your uh, favorite IDE, if it has a support for bash uh, scripts, you can uh, launch it directly from there. So I'll, I will show you in some of the next episodes how you can uh, configure it with PHP Storm, which I prefer and I use for my development. All right, but uh, before that, you'll also be able to check out my Android um, uh, uh, Android tutorial. Will I, will show, I will show you how to set up the similar stuff for Android development. All right, uh, thank you very much and stay tuned. And there is some more information how to get it all set up on my uh, blog and the link you should see on the bottom. Thank you and bye.